1949, Donald Watts Davis created an electromechanical version of the classic game of knots and crosses, tic-tac-toe. A colleague of Alan Turing, Davis' simple intention had been to demonstrate a fun way to show the power of computer logic. However, when his machine was unveiled to the public, it instantly captured the attention of the nation. It was decided that the machine should be offered up as light relief at the Royal Society exhibition in London. Although the exhibition featured plenty of cutting-edge technology, it was Davis' interactive game that would appeal to the broad spectrum of people attending. The device incorporated a series of electromechanical switching relays used by telephone exchanges, and the machine acted as one of the players. It was able to demonstrate in an engaging way some of the fundamental concepts of computing to everyone else's astonishment Davis device, which had been wired to be able to detect and play 6,045 moves, never lost a single game. 